Man, ever I say, my pen dream TV. Pen dream TV, dear. I see them. You po. Me mo bi biara kwa ba eba pen dream TV. Say we are new to the channel. Subscribe to channel and click notification bell. No so like it. You may know na share ma afo front so ensa enkabi. Na okuja to abla kwa edi expose bi abeto jua efa Ghana airport. COVID-19 testing and sense. Na me pesa obe kame hon. Na ya kuti ensema okuja to abla kwa eka. Na kuti ensema ni wia. Wadjo nchi ubi ya wano. Fashe comment section ho. Ebe nya botre na ya kain. Afi nsono ube ti ma sende o voice note. Afa namba ya eda u screen nesono. Yebe publishe ama amansayi ate wanka. Namba ni ya 0277-128-777. Kame hon. Na yenti expose ya okuja to abla kwa edi atuja. So fontiers. Keeps one forty dollars, and we get only ten dollars. Incredible, unbelievable. I mean, not even fifty fifty. Because really, frontiers. What have they done? Are they shareholders at the airport? Have they done any investment at the airport? Look, if I was managing Ghana Airport Company Limited. And I look at the financials, I look at the numbers, and I see how much money, hundreds of millions of dollars can be made out of this. Look, the Ghana airport has even a side clinic. There's a clinic. They have a clinic there. Couldn't they have done this testing themselves? Couldn't they have used their own hospital? I have been to that clinic a number of times. They have a hospital there. They have doctors, nurses there. Couldn't they have done this themselves? If even they don't want money, hmm? They are not patriotic. They don't care about uh, the Ghana Airport Company. How about the credible organizations that sacrifice? The scientists were at the forefront of fighting COVID. Noguchi, KCCR in Kumasi, the Kumasi Center for Collaborative Research. All these top doctors and researchers at Kolebu. You remember the Kolebu Central Lab? These were the people at the forefront of containing COVID-19. Imagine how we will have transformed these entities if we gave them the contract, if we gave them the green light to be the ones to do this effort testing. Hundreds of millions of dollars. Imagine how that will have transformed Noguchi. It will have helped them to recruit more scientists to buy new equipment and it will have transformed their work and it will have been even a befitting thank you look some of them died these scientists put themselves in harm's way so that we will all be alive to contain this virus but see what these guys did i mean and look you ask yourself, did they put a gun to the head of Mr. Yaokwakwa, the managing director? I love and if you read the first paragraph of the letter, it says that this is an offer letter following our discussions. So everything had been discussed behind the scenes. And the question is, who convened that discussion? Who were those in that discussion? Where did the discussion take place? And when you read that offer letter, it's clear that the procurement law was put aside. Look, we have a procurement law in this country. Public procurement must go through due process. And let nobody tell you about emergency. Under the Procurement Act, there is full provision for times of emergency, times of catastrophe, where you can go through the process quickly and it will still be lawful you go through due process they didn't regard any of those provisions they indeed suspended Ghana's procurement laws then when you look at this giveaway you go through the agreement this offer letter frontiers is not supposed to pay water bill they are exempted from water bill I mean, unbelievable Frontiers is also told in this offer letter that all they should do is just just pay some initial 97000 to show that uh, they are accepting the offer. That's all. 
Now, the analysis that we have done, based on the Ghana Airport Company's own publication on their website about the traffic, passenger traffic, if you look at their numbers that they themselves have published, between the period September 1st, 2020, to when uh, Fontiers was forced out in March uh, of 2022, about a million passengers came through. So the, the conservative estimates we have done, Frontiers made profits not less than $130 million. Imagine what $130 million could have done for even Ghana Airport themselves. They could have done this themselves. Because look, this Frontiers Company Limited, mind you, they have no track record. They were established just about two months before they were given this contract. So no track record at all. So you can't say that, oh, probably they had some unique expertise or they had some patent, you know, some intellectual property that they only them have control over. You can't say that. It doesn't exist. They were buying test kits from the shelves. So... Anybody could have done this. So you go through this offer letter, and look, all the lawyers who have seen this, who are calling me, everybody, they can't believe it. I mean, nobody believes this. So this is a classic great loot and share. So this $140, clearly, that's why I say that very soon we will expose those who fronted for frontiers. And, and and I think that the name of the company itself should tell you what they really set out to do. Why they called it Frontiers. Mm-hmm. Because they just, they, it was just a front for a great loot and share scam. So what this is about is that as for the state, you, the Ghana Airport Company, all of you, the people of Ghana, you Ghana's go and share $10. Mm-hmm. Then a small cabal, the real Frontiers for Frontiers meet and share the $140 behind the scenes. That is what this is about. Because it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. And look, you go through this contract and they did not even give specifications to to Frontiers. First of all, they don't tell them how much they should invest in their setup. They have a blank check. Can you believe that? Then they are also not giving any condition precedent. You know that Ghana has a Health Facilities Regulatory Act, where before you engage in any biomedical services, you must be licensed. You go through this offer letter, they, they could not be bothered about that. And that is why Frontier started working without license. Can you believe that? Several months, and this is we are talking about, you know, human data, biomedical data, sensitive stuff. It went into the hands of Frontiers without licensing from EFRA. Can you believe that? Then you go through this offer letter, Senna. I mean, it's so unthinkable. Gunners go. Do you realize that Frontiers was given two years? I mean, COVID, how long was COVID going to stay with us? And we were all told, President told us that, look, he has channeled all his energies. He will do everything to fight COVID. He knows how to bring back economy, but he can't bring back life. So then everything is for making sure that COVID is contained and COVID is fought within the shortest possible time. And yet, he goes to give this contract for two years so that frontiers will just be looting for two years, uninterrupted. I mean... They couldn't even make this offer based on when COVID is defeated. So that when COVID is defeated, that's it. They gave them two years. It didn't matter. Even if COVID is defeated in a week's time or a month's time, as of frontiers, we love you so much. You people must loot. So you must loot for two years uninterrupted. Can you believe that? Who gives such an offer? Two solid years. 
solid yes. So you can now understand why they couldn't stop frontiers. When you remember the whole world, you travel and this everybody has stopped this airport testing. I remember even President Mahama put out a statement that he had arrived in London and there was no testing going on at the airport. And he was shocked that Ghana is still testing. And he put out a statement asking President Kufuado to stop this uh, $150 testing going on at the Ghana airport. I travel as foreign affairs ranking member. I remember going to Switzerland, going to Holland, going to uh, 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 Italy for meetings. There was no testing going on. Only Ghana was still testing. You now know why. Because this is the contract. Frontiers must loot to the max. Unbelievable, Senna. Unbelievable. Hmm. Majority of what you've said, we, are, we already had a clear idea. You're saying, and, and first, let me ask you. You said they, they pay your estimates. They've made profits in excess of a hundred million is it dollars? Yes. Uh, did you factor in million dollars? Did, did you factor in all the other things they are supposed to do? The cost of setting up the electricity, the rent, and everything. You factored all that in? Yes. Yes. That setup that they did over there is not even up to hundred thousand dollars. Just a few glasses, a little furniture here and there. That's it. The cost I'm of staff and all. Talking, I'm talking to some of the people. They brought the staff from Noguchi Ridge Hospital and all of that. They didn't even pay them well. Talk to them. They're around. You can go to Ridge Hospital. Talk to the nurses. I'm in touch with them. You factor all of that in. Remember, they didn't pay. They didn't pay water bill. So very, very, very minimum investment. There were there were no standards. You, they didn't give them any specifications they are supposed to meet. Shocking. Shocking. Absolutely shocking. Over a hundred million dollars. They just came, made a killing. And don't forget, my brother Senna, this was during a public health crisis all. When people are dying. I mean, how heartless could people be? Your people are dying. People are hospitalized. And all you think about is a corrupt scheme to create loot and share. Even the charge, 150, check, check around the world. Nobody was doing that. Nobody was charging that amount, up to that amount. Remember, we had to do a lot of agitation. I made several statements in parliament before... Let's go before they reduced it for ECOWAS nationals, which includes Ghanaians, to $50. But they kept it at $150 for all other travelers. Indeed, if you are even a Ghanaian, but you hold another country's passport, you pay the $150. I mean, I mean how, how wicked could people be? How wicked? Hmm. <sighs> Thank you very much for putting the paper to what you've always suspected. But but what can this be used for now that we have the documents in our hands? This can be used for many things. Um, so now we have the documents. Remember how far they have gone to hide this from us and to be even willing to pay 200,000 fines just to keep this away from us. Uh, unfortunately for them, we now have it. So with this, we know we're on solid ground. So before we come to power, there are a number of things we can do. So we can use this to trigger a parliamentary inquiry. We can use this to even ask the Office of Special Prosecutor to look into this matter. So there are so many options available to us. Then when we come to power, armed with this information, because remember that there are times that they try to destroy evidence. Uh, when they lose an election. Now we have the evidence. So when we come to power, because and I, I keep saying when we come to power, because you see, under the the the, uh, the, the Constitution and laws, only the Attorney General can initiate criminal prosecution. And um, he has shown that he himself is part of the cabal. He doesn't 
prosecute uh, people, colleagues in this government. I mean, to think that he was serving on the National Cathedral Board and he's going after somebody like Jachi Kwesin. He's He claims to be interested in fraud, interested in uh, deceit of public offices, in criminal conduct. And he didn't see his own board member, Victor Kusibwating, Kwabne Dujensi. He's never seen him before. You know, his own board member has left him off the hook. So this is an attorney general who clearly uh, is engaged in selective prosecution. So now that we have the evidence, Ghanaians can have hope that a future NDC government will have people prosecuted. So I call this a very significant moment because all along we've just been, you know, uh, criticizing, condemning this whole Frontiers deal, uh, asking for answers which have not been forthcoming. Or the attempt to even use the right to information law has not worked. Uh, but now we have the documents, and with this, we are now armed with evidence to go after, you know, the looters. So these are the options available to us. But you said you have more. Oh, definitely. More on this. Definitely, definitely. yes, definitely. You definitely. know those who are behind this. Definitely. Who is behind it? <laughs> so now you're always in a hurry. Uh, uh, you just let's let's give ourselves. You know, we 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 are going in in bits. Um, you know, we like to 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 serialize and do a drip by drip approach. So uh, let's let's wait for how they respond to this one, and then we'll hit them with the with a second round. Hmm. You're waiting for the response of is it the Kotoka International Airport? Yes, all of them, and the government, the presidency, all of them. This is a major indictment on all of them. Well, the president himself was at the forefront of the COVID fight. He was chairing the interministerial committees. You know, and we have we have we have had top top ministers who told us during their vetting that they they were not part of this deal. They don't know about it. So these people must have come from very very high sources. I just don't want to, you know, go ahead of myself and my plans and put out names at this point. But all those people, the earlier they speak on this matter, the better for them. Hmm. So much is at stake. The destruction is so pervasive. I mean, the levels of corruption. See what we've just discussed at the airport. Now, see what is going on at the Bank of Ghana. Not too long ago, I revealed documentary evidence how the Bank of Ghana project started at $81 million. That is the approval they got, $81 million from the PPA. Then it shoots up within eight months to $121 million. Then in less than a year, shoots up to $227 million. Just skyrocketing. I mean, incredible inflationary pricing. People are just padding, just, 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 I mean, look, we've never seen Chobo on such a scale. What is happening in Ghana now is not economics, it's chobonomics. Yang Chindi, everybody just wants to just pad and loot. That's what is going on now. I mean, how can you at this time, when you've run down the central bank, for the first time in the history of, this, of Ghana's central bank, it has made losses. 60.8 billion cities. Negative equity, 55 billion. Never happened. And what is shocking is that all of this was going on at the time that you are printing money illegally. I mean, look, you think about these things and you can't get it. You just can't understand. A bank of Ghana which prints money, 77 billion CDs, in flagrant violation of their act, section 30 of their act, you cannot print money beyond 5% of the previous year's revenues without parliamentary approval. You have blatantly violated that law. So you print money, all this illegal printing, 
Addison, the printer, Miss Governor. Addison, Miss Governor Addison, the printer. Engaged in this massive printing of money, and yet still manages to make losses. Now, after you've made these losses, and it's not surprising because if you look at his expenditure items, see how much they say they spend on communications. See how much they say they spent on just maintaining their vehicles. I mean, unbelievable amount of money. In the midst of all this, you say that you are you are putting up. An office that would, that, that would have more than 6,000 offices. A headquarters with more than 6,000 offices. With more than 3,000 space for over 3,000 cars. A car park. Hey! I mean, you can't believe these things. Look, if this was some movie, viewers would have said that, oh, even the... Script writers were too, they run their imagination, run too wild. You know, it's, 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 it's too crazy. I mean, you wouldn't, you, you, you think that the movie is, 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 is too exaggerative. But this is real. This is not cine. It's not cine. It's real. Uh, they did come out. I'm not pending TV. Now, so far, so good. Se open online portal e Ghana. Ah, ni pa share, ni pa follow, ni pa comment here. To my best of knowledge, without any biases, I have pending TV.